Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. When you look at the evolutionary view of man, earliest man is said to be pretty short. Our current Homo sapien is about five to six feet tall. What's interesting, though, is that huge skeletal footprints and skulls have been discovered, and over time there have been whispers on whether giants existed. Some theories suggest that these giants were ingenious and built the pyramids of Egypt. The pyramids have hieroglyphics and images that depict gigantic humans, as well as mummified remains that are quite tall and huge. Accounts of giant attacks have been recorded, as well as discovery of humanoid monsters that have gigantic heads and skulls, not forgetting the mythical cyclops. Question is, did giants walk the face of the Earth? Over the years, there have been a lot of reports, research and archaeological evidences that there were indeed giants in the universe. Number 10. The Giant of Castile The Giant of Castile is one of the most famous examples, and in 1980, the anthropologist George Voucher de Lepage discovered three bone fragments, a humerus, tibia and femoral mid-shaft in a Bronze Age cemetery in France, dating back to the Neolithic skeletal remains. These remains are estimated to have belonged to one of the largest human-like creatures on Earth. Looking at them keenly, the skeletal remains do seem entirely similar to a regular human skeleton. They're estimated to have belonged to someone who was 11 foot and 6 inches. Modern-day humans are nowhere near this height. If you were to meet this giant today, you'd be running for dear life. Number 9. Sarcophagus Another discovery made in 1819 in Egypt resulted in a sarcophagus being unearthed, it contained two giant skeletons, one of a three-meter-tall man and the other of a two-meter-tall woman. Meaning that the woman was six and a half feet tall while the man was almost ten feet, and since large skeletons are often close to each other, some theories believe that if giants did exist, they did so in groups, just as humans live. Skeletons and complete bone fragments are hard to come by, yet strangely appropriate intact skulls have been found in such sites and ruins. A lot of mystery seems to be buried down under. Number 8. Giant Skulls in Ozark and Arkansas Caves In 1913, giant skulls were found in the Ozark Cave and the Arkansas Cave. The cave had been flooded by the time researchers showed up. But thanks to a professional scuba diver that went exploring in the cave, some interesting remains buried in there were salvaged. Surrounded by 70-foot-tall stone walls, the researchers uncovered a small cache of gigantic skulls and a few other skeleton pieces. What was so strange was the remarkable size of the skulls. The researchers estimated that the largest of the skulls must have belonged to someone almost 10 feet tall. The isolated location of tall stone walls and gigantic skull suggested that the cave could have been home not to one, but a society of giants with gigantic heads and bodies. Number 7. Huge Giant Footprint Check out this footprint. That is one hell of a big foot. Michael Tellinger, a South African writer, discovered one huge footprint near the border of Swaziland. The giant 1.2-meter-long footprint definitely looked like a human footprint, complete with an arch and five toes. The slab of rock that had the imprint was estimated to be between 2 and 3 billion years old, and would suggest that if giants did exist, they'd been around for a mighty long time. Geologists deduced that the giant would have had to step into fresh magma to imprint his footprint onto the granite rock. The locals have a legend about an ancient being who would run across the land on hot lava. Most scientists are skeptical that the oxygen levels from days gone by would have been able to support a complex living being in earlier times. There's, however, no logical explanation as to how the footprint ended up there. Number 6. A giant finger Yes, that's a finger someone's finger, or something's finger. Let's go with something. This giant finger looks like a pretty elaborate hoax, but it's got x-ray images and a certificate of authenticity to prove that it was indeed a real discovery. The 38 centimeter or 15 inch long mummified finger was discovered in Egypt in 1988. Scientists believe that it belonged to a creature that was at least 5 meters or 16 feet tall. Other than its incredible size, the finger seems remarkably human in its structure, and appearance, and it doesn't fit into any scientific theories about the size of historical humans or the other bones and remains that have been found. A grave robber made this discovery in an undisclosed location. It remains a strange puzzle piece for researchers trying to confirm or deny the existence of giants, as the grave robber and his miraculous find are gone with the wind. Number 5. Giant Burial Mounds Across the US, there are numerous giant burial mounds, some as big as the iconic Great Pyramid of Giza. 
Of interest are the Cahokia Monks Mounds in Illinois and Missouri that are so old it's hard to believe they could have been built without modern technology. What's buried inside this mound might just prove that it was giants who helped create such enormous structures. The Cahokia Monks Mounds are 100 feet tall. Some reports from New England have some information that there were giant skeletons being unearthed from these mounds. Skeletons are reported to have two rows of teeth and a height of 7 to 10 feet. Modern discoveries of bones from these mounds confirm that they belong to humans much taller than what we're used to today. One particular report was backed up by an American scientist. It stated that the mound contained the bodies of a larger female and a three and a half foot long child, which researchers state is about double the size of a child. Some theories suggest that these mounds were built by the giants as graves for their own kind, and based on the height of the evidence, it's hard to disprove this theory. Number 4. Giant of Kandahar in the summer of 2016, a so-called conspiracy started by an Israeli author claims that in 2002, a monster dubbed the Giant of Kandahar was on the loose in Afghanistan. Several websites claim that an American Special Forces soldier was attacked by the 12-foot-tall giant from the Old Testament. It reads like a fable from a children's book. Eventually, the giant was taken down by the military and whisked away to a secret facility. The government, however, dismissed that such a thing ever happened. It all sounds pretty crazy, but a few interviews were done with civilians who claimed to have seen the beast. The story takes us to Nephilim, who are described in the Bible as some say as offspring of gods and humans. This particular account seems far-fetched, but legends of giant Nephilim have been reported in both ancient and modern writings, suggesting that there may be more truth to this giant hybrid than we think. Number 3. Giant One-Eyed Creature According to the Greek historian Salinas, in writings dating back to 280, the Greeks would often discover bones of immeasurable and abnormally large creatures. Today, researchers have discovered very specific giant bones that are connected to the Greek myth of Cyclops. These giant skulls are probably what started the Greek obsession with a legendary creature with a huge hole in the middle of its head. This was the skull of what was believed to be a gigantic one-eyed creature. All these discoveries feed the myths of the ancient legend of giants. Today, scientists believe that the skulls indeed belong to some dwarf elephants or mammoths. There's still a lot of ancient writing that claims to have found more humanoid remains that are not easily explained, and some of the strange Cyclops girls are different from the others, suggesting that they could be from other elephant-like species or something else entirely. When you think about it, when an elephant stands upright, it could resemble a giant human, no? Number 2. Denisovan's Remains the remains of Denisovans, a human ancestor, have been found all over Asia. What's strange about these remains are the skull and teeth and jawbones is that they're much bigger than the average human. Denisovans and Neanderthal-like humans were discovered from about 50,000 years ago. The bones suggest that this species lived in very high altitude areas. For example, their bones are common on the Tibetan Plateau at an elevation of 10,700 feet. They were able to adapt to living with less oxygen, making it easier for them to live so high up. Everything about the Denisovan seems to be big. Their heads in particular had giant molar mass, giant jaws and giant brain casings. Scientists think that the average Denisovan was about 200 pounds or 90 kilograms, and they're proven facts of human giants existing throughout history. Number 1. Science Behind Gigantism There's a scientific reason for being so tall. The tallest man in medical history is Robert Pershing Wallow, an American man who was born in 1918 and in 1940, he stood at 8 feet and 11 inches. That's pretty tall, right? His recorded weight was 220 kilograms or 490 pounds. His daily intake of food was 8,000 calories, which is three times more than that of the average man. Gigantism in humans results from a dysfunction of the pituitary gland, and other humans have been known to suffer from this condition, including some of the tallest NBA players. Is it possible that this dysfunction could have caused ancient humans to grow to incredible heights as well? We may never be certain because we can't explain the existence of some very large skeletons that are buried that are not average-sized human remains. New information about giants is linked to Egyptians, and the Third Dynasty pharaoh was probably one of the most well-known Egyptian giants. We have proof that he was about 8 inches taller than the average man who lived at the time, so he probably towered above most of the citizens. The entire Middle East has legends of giant humans, and most of which were probably much taller than the pharaoh. The ancient Egyptian accounts of humans ranging between 7 feet and 16 feet, there are stories and depictions of giants and numerous in Egyptian art. 
The constructions of the pyramids is even attributed to these giants, which would explain why the Egyptians honoured them through their art with pharaohs and historical figures being depicted as being large. The Egyptians may have worshipped the giants. The archaeological sites in Egypt might be the gateway to the truth about these legendary creatures. It's time for you to tell us what you think. Did giants exist? Do they still exist? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.